Now I have learned the hard way that when you receive a leak of a device that is an almost bezel-less display, it is almost certainly false. Until the near future, of course, because it looks like the Galaxy S8 will undergo a pretty major transformation. The respected ET News, a publication with good connections in the Korean tech industry, reports that Samsung plans to ditch the physical home button and opt for a full screen display that would virtually eliminate the top and bottom bezels of the Galaxy S8. The phone will reportedly be equipped with dual cameras and be powered by both Qualcomm and Samsung chips, but built with a new 10 nanometer process. Now, when we start to talk about leaks and rumors this early before a major flagship launch, I gotta remind you guys that most of the time in the past two years, leaks and rumors have been pretty accurate here at Android Authority. We've been very careful about that. The biggest blunder was the Galaxy S5, and it wasn't a blunder as it was a timing issue. We had been building up for three or four months about all the leaks and rumors of the Galaxy S5, and when it came out, it looked like a Band-Aid, quite a bit different than the edged display that we were expecting. Of course, later on, we all learned that those leaks and rumors were actually accurate, but there were more prototypes of the Galaxy S6, not the S5. So we gotta remember here that it's still pretty early and what we're seeing may be the S8 or maybe something that they have planned later in the future. Keep that in mind. Sources told ET News that Samsung wants to ditch the iconic home button. It's not clear what the alternative solution would be. The home button incorporates the fingerprint sensor, so Samsung will need to come up with a new way to embed the sensor in or under the glass or on the back of the device, perhaps. There are tech solutions out there that allow phone makers to embed fingerprint sensors under the glass, so it's not like the Galaxy S8 has to have a physical home button. Xiaomi just recently unveiled the Mi 5S, which features Qualcomm's ultrasonic fingerprint reader and fingerprint cards, and other suppliers have launched their own under glass solutions. Now, when it comes to the top and bottom bezels, I think this is the next logical step. Now, it may not be for the S8, but I think this is a clear indication that Samsung has in their sights a truly bezel-less display. That could be cool because it's very much more an immersive experience. Now, let's talk about the dual camera rumor. It's said that Samsung has already made up its mind to use a dual camera on the back of the S8. The question is whether Samsung will use a two-lens, one-module design or a two-lens, two-module arrangement. According to the report, Samsung could opt for a 16-megapixel and 8-megapixel setup. Now, there should be no reason to doubt this. Samsung's competitors have already started to do the same. Good on Samsung. Using two lenses allows for a few neat tricks like post-shot refocusing, but it also makes it possible to improve the overall quality of each shot. Samsung simply has to get in on that action. Now let's talk about the rumored system on a chip. Samsung will reportedly use a mix of the Snapdragon 830 from Qualcomm and an Exynos chip developed by its subsidiary, Samsung SDI. Both chips will be built on the 10 nanometer process, enabling higher performance and lower battery consumption. Now again, no surprise here. In recent history, Samsung has always gone with a combination of its own Exynos chip and with Qualcomm. Now, some of you may be thinking, Jace, come on, my Snapdragon 800 system on a chip is still doing really well on my phone for the past two, three years. What do I care if I have the latest and greatest chip? Well, you may care if you really get into augmented and virtual reality, where I expect that's gonna play a bigger role. So what are you hoping for in the Galaxy S8? Let me know in the comments below what one feature would be the most important for you. I'll be reading them. I think it's safe to say that pretty much everyone hates day-to-day -day admin work. That's why our beloved sponsor FreshBooks has made it ridiculously easy to use their cloud accounting software. Whether you need easy invoicing, online payments, or time tracking, FreshBook has fantastic solutions for you. You can even use your Android device to take a snap of your receipts and have FreshBooks manage your expenses automatically. For a 30-day unrestricted free trial with no credit card required, just go to freshbooks.com forward slash Android and enter Android Authority in the How Did You Hear About Us section. That's freshbooks.com forward slash Android.